Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard. We have a very special episode this morning where we're going to be speaking to songstress Mrs. Latrice Lawrence about her hit single, Moonlight Chaser. She's a soulful singer. She's a gospel singer, and she's looking, she's on a mission to bring soul back to music. You don't want to miss this particular episode. It's going to be wonderful. As a matter of fact, you don't want to miss any episode of the Sherrard Show. We are streaming. You can see us on uh, Amazon Fire Stick, as well as on Apple. TV or just check your local listings. Now when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have the lovely Latrice Lawrence on the Sherrard Show. Right after this. And welcome back to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard. So excited this morning. Uh, we have a very special guest on the show. Uh, this lovely young lady has a single that is out called Moonlight Chaser. Um, this is a soulful song. She's been singing soul for many years, as well as gospel. And she is looking to bring soul back into the music. I'm so honored to have Mrs. Latrice Lawrence on the Sherrard Show. How are you this morning? I feel great. How about you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. You have a quite an impressive resume of all the um, things you've been doing in the industry, Latrice. Tell us a little bit about uh, your start in music and what kind of inspiration you had. My greatest inspiration was Minnie Riperton, Denise Williams, and Leontine Price. They were my real inspirations because they were always on TV singing. And um, of course, with Leontine Price, she was an opera singer and she was a black opera singer. And I honored that because it was so rare, you know, so she opened the door for so many people. And Minnie Riperton had the whistling register. And I was like, oh, mommy, I want to sing like that. And, you know, and so I just I really, really respected these women, especially mm -hmm. Denise Williams, because she had a voice like an angel. She still does. So. Yeah, I look up to these women because they paved the way for many of us women. And that's very interesting. Now, you were mentioning that you started singing basically when you were about six years old and about eight years old in front of people. Is that correct? Right. My first and singing, I was four and I was scared to death, actually. But I started getting a little more comfortable when I was about six or eight. But it was an adjustment. <laughs> you know, one thing that I love is the fact that um, you know, people like you, like, for example, I have many, many um, superstars and celebrities and icons that have stopped by the show. And I'm very thankful to God for them, such as like Mel Carter, Jim Gilstrap, Stevie Wonder. Um, you name them, they've stopped by the show. And what's wonderful about that is the fact that they, um, you know, paved the way for so many people and their music is timeless music. Now, is that something that you're looking to do um, or you're attempting to do with Moonlight Chaser? Just make it one of those timeless classics. Yes, I'm really looking to uh, make an impact with Moonlight Chaser because it's about having fun. And I'm saying dancing in the moonlight because the feeling is right. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to party, ready to play. It's something fun because people are so consumed with work. And I think that even now we all have had a moment to sit down and really realize that we've been so consumed with work, our family, different people, you know, the music everything, but we don't ever really get to have a good time and rest. And that's, that's correct. That is funny you say that because, um, you know, we, it, it, it's time, this is a reflection time with the uh, coronavirus and things going on right now. And it's time to reconnect with some of that great music um, that we're listening to, you know, because as, as you do things around the house, you listen to some of that uh, Sam Cooke and Smokey Robinson and Phyllis Hyman. It puts you in a special place. Is that what music does for you as well today? Yes, it does. And I've been doing something really special for people during the COVID challenge. I've been online singing on my Facebook page, Latrice Lawrence on Facebook, and I've been singing to them live. And, and if they want to give donations, they can. If they can't, I just told them, get on there for uplifting. I've been singing things like Old Friend by Phyllis Hyman, uh, Black Butterfly, It's Gonna Take a Miracle, uh, Denise Williams, and um, I sang, I even sang God Is by James Cleveland, 
Oh, you people, really, you really tan it up over there on the internet. What you trying to pull over there, Latrice? My slow down now. As a matter of fact, um, I want you to be able to at, at later on in the interview. I want you to be able to sing "Silly." Can you sing "Silly" for me and uh, Denise Williams? A little. I should be able to. Yeah. I, I, it's not too early in the morning for you, is it? Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good. So we're going to hold you to that, my audience. Um, and your new audience will love to hear that as well. Now, for those who are just tuning in, we are speaking to the lovely Latrice Lawrence, the songstress, um, who's doing big things with her charting song, Moonlight Chaser. Now, Latrice, tell me, um, um, with music today, do you like what the newer things, do you like the older music? What is the genre of music that you prefer or the era of music that you like um, currently? The, the genre of music? I like soul music, like Jill Scott, Things Anthony Hamilton. I love Donny Hathaway. Oh my God, that has to be my all my all time favorite because he sung from his soul. Oh my God, mm -hmm. he was amazing to me. I mean, that man was incredible, and his daughter is just is beastly as he was. Yeah, and it's, it's it's amazing that you mentioned Mr. Donny Hathaway. He gets very little credit. Well, he doesn't get enough credit. You know, I know his uh, he had a lot of issues and um, his um time of, of shining really wasn't that long but the time that he had he really used it to the max and he had some very awesome powerful music i definitely agree with you oh yeah he had a great voice i mean his and his daughter is a female version of him it's so amazing when wow. she got on stage i saw her live with anita baker and when she got on stage and sang angel oh my god time just stood still wow because well, we're still blessed to have the remnants of him, you know, through his yeah. daughter. That is absolutely incredible. Right. Now, uh, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You tell me, um, you know, in terms of answers about, um, I'm going to play a little game. Uh, you up for any game? Yeah, of okay, course. We're, 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 we're going to test. I'm just throwing this out to you. She doesn't even know this is coming, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to do a little test to see, um, can you name, if I give you a title, you tell me who sings the song, Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll start off easy. Um, Midnight Train to Georgia. Oh, <laughs> Gladys Knight and the Pips. Okay, so all right, so that's the easy one. I just want to warm you up a bit, okay? <laughs> um, this is a this is a good one. Daylight in Darkness. Who sings that one? Daylight in Darkness. Oh my! Yeah, I hit you with a tough one, didn't I? Who is <laughs> me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, I if, wonder, if you want to say come back, I'll come back to it. Come back, because it's a guy, but I can't think. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, bring it on home to me. Who sings that? Bring it on home? If you need me to sing it, I'll sing it to help you out. How about that? Please do. Please do. Okay. If you ever change your mind about leaving Leaving me behind. Oh, bring it to me. Bring, I'm giving you too much. Okay, who is it? That sounds like um, Sam Cooke. Oh, she got it right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, very That's good. Nice. Very good. You're on a roll over there. You're on a roll. <laughs> very good. Okay, two more, two more. Um, all right, who sings Try Me? Sings what? Try Me. Oh, yes, yes. Who sings that? Oh, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Oh, it's at the tip of my... I love that song, too. And I'll give you a hint. He could dance, too. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Jackie Wilson. Oh, you're close. He came after Jackie Wilson. Oh. Uh, Wilson Pickett? He, he had a perm. Oh, my God, I can't believe I didn't say this in the first place. <laughs> Not the king of soul. That's, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm Go so ahead. sorry. James so who's Brown. the king of soul? James Brown. Okay, very good. Okay, so um, we're going to do one more, and then we're going to try and answer the one that I asked you that you passed on. Okay, so now okay. who sings? Um, this is two versions of this song, okay? Oh. Who sings? You can tell me each one, either one. Um. Darling, believe me, for there is no one but you. Please love me too. Answer my prayer. Who sings that? Two versions. Two versions. Mm -hmm. Answer my prayer. Mm -hmm. Say a little prayer for you. Who sings that? Say a little prayer. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. Aretha Franklin. Good. All right, for the bonus, who sings the second? Who sings the other, the uh, original version? Uh, you know Dion King redid it, right? Dion King? Yeah, she redid it. You mean Dion Warwick? Nope. Dion King. Okay, Dion King. Well, Dion Warwick is the one that sings the original version. Aretha Franklin sang the second version. So when you said Dion, I thought you had it. Okay, we'll give you half the points for that. Okay, okay Dion King did do a version. She did a version for My Best Friend's Wedding. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we'll, we'll play that version um, also during our commercial break. Excellent for that. Okay, and the last one before we go to commercial break, Daylight and, and Darkness, who sings that? All right, now just to give you a hint, he wrote most of the songs for Motown. Smokey! Who's that? Smokey! There we go. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent job, Latrice. Just had to give you a quiz to get you warmed up this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed that? I thought I was in music school again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Latrice, when we come back from this commercial break, I got another question for you that's going to really get you smiling. We'll be right back. Right after okay. That. Gonna lose control under the moonlight Gonna be alright, gonna be alright Ready to parlay, ready to play Ready, ready to parlay, ready to play It's Friday show i'm your host you have been talking to the lovely latrice lawrence um you just saw her moonlight chaser playing in the background now who wrote that song moonlight chaser um, i wrote this song but um my producers brandon ford and uh devin shaw they helped inspire it and uh, we came up with ideas together brandon did the backgrounds and Devin was in the back down, do this, do this, do this. this and the, he's the hype man of our production company, Smooth Soul. And he's a great director. And he's a great uh, producer. Both of them are. Oh, wow. Oh. They wow. really gave inspiration for it because they wanted me to have fun. They wanted me to have fun in the song. It they really sounds like you're having fun. And, and that's, that's very important because um, a lot of artists seem like they're not having fun these days. But you really sound like you were enjoying producing that song. Yeah, it was fun. It was a great time because I really wanted people to have a good time. I like people to reflect with my music because I could get really deep with songs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to be able to get off work on a Friday you know, because the song goes, it's Friday night, just got home from work, I'm ready to go dancing, so I grabbed my favorite shirt. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Now, now, when is your full-fledged album coming out, or is it out already? I have two albums out. I have Another Side of Me, and I have, and that's R&B mixed with jazz and gospel, spoken word, and uh, it's really great. It's cool. And upbeat you know, gospel, but it's a, it's really about love and life. But I have a gospel song that I did, a gospel album that I did called uh, Hear Me, Lord, The Collaboration. And it's really a great work of art because I have some contemporary gospel music on there that's been played on KJLH and it's been played on uh, a gospel channel. I mean, a gospel station that's real popular. Um, you know, and it's it's really great. And uh, it's a lot of gospel artists, Kirk Carr and different people played on the um, the station. So I really enjoy that album. I, it's a lot of go-to songs on there because I love gospel, of course. Oh, that's awesome sauce. Now, now my question to you, um, Latrice, where can we purchase the album? Where can they be able to uh, get it right away after this interview? Oh, the thing that's so great is that it started streaming on Tidal and it started streaming on Spotify March the 4th. But now the um, actual MP3 downloads are available as of April the 21st. And the album's called Raindrops Loves Holidays Volume 2, which um, has been pushed by Enthroned Records and Climax Corporation and uh, Universal Music Group has distributed it. So I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited. 
Oh, wow. Andre and the guys, good people, very good people. So I'm so excited. Now, um, after the coronavirus and everything is all up, are you planning on going on tour, on tour soon? I'm going to be doing lots of shows. Sometimes I sing with the Southeast Symphony and I sing with um, San Bernardino Orchestra uh, slash Symphony. And I had a show that I was going to be doing at the Piazza's in Long Beach with a friend of mine. And um, her name is uh, Stephanie Smith. And I was going to feature a few of my new songs and I was going to sing some Whitney and Alita Adams and some other songs. And that was planned. Then I was going to do um, Langston Hughes, uh, the uh, variation with an orchestra. And, um, you know, Andre has some things planned because we're going to start, you know, showcasing, you know, the songs and, you know, and everything. And of course he's, you know, he's a on top of things kind of guy. He if sure is, he sure is. And you really seem like you have such an illustrious career ahead of you and you're doing some really big things. And um, please provide your Facebook um, information as well as Twitter and Instagram so your fans can be able to keep up with you. And you're now making some new fans so your new fans can be able to keep up with you as well. That's wonderful. Um, I, I have a website, which is www.latricelawrence.com. It has videos on there of me singing Whitney and um, congratulations by Vesta Williams and some different things. I am on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, pretty much um, all the um, major platforms. You can go download or you can go to YouTube and see me singing different genres. And um, I'm also on, um, let's see, there's another one, SoundCloud. SoundCloud, I some different songs that that I don't even have out. Like for example, I did the Lockmay piece with a friend of mine, and her name is Carol Wooten, and um, we had that on. So it's classical stuff. So it's fun, and so that's, you know, that's very about that. stuff. And and I love that you're bringing the soul back and bringing the class back to music. You know, for me, um, I love the classy music that's where the men are talking to the women instead of talking about them. Uh, I just love that kind of thing. And I just love uh, how, you know, men, we men really enjoy great singers like the Lionel Richies, the Sam Cooks, the Jackie Wilsons. The list goes on are guys that were out there and just, you know, talking to the women. And if guys back home could not um, know the right words to say to the woman, they just put on some Sam Cook and it'll talk all about what's on their heart. So I love that. And I love you're doing your part as well on the ladies' side. Now, um, uh, Latrice, before we go um, uh, to this final commercial break, I want you to get your voice ready because, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, when she comes back, she's going to be closing us out with some Denise Williams right after this. <laughs> And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. Um, speaking to the lovely Latrice uh, Lawrence about her career. I'm, I've learned so much about her, and I'm really impressed about her knowledge of music as well as um, where she's come from and where, as well as where she's going. And um, you definitely want to follow her on Facebook, Twitter, um, purchase her album on Spotify as well. Now that we know um, what she's been doing, where she's going. Now it's time to hear that voice, ladies and gentlemen. She is going to be singing, singing her version of Silly by Denise Williams. Take it away, Latrice. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
mercy, 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 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Stop making up for me. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Um, how are you doing, Miss Williams? Welcome to the show. <laughs> Phenomenal job, Latrice. Phenomenal job. We really appreciate you for being on the show today. Had such an exciting and wonderful time. Latrice, um, make sure you tell your friends about the Sherrard Show. You can tune in and watch us on Apple TV, as well as check your local listings, Roku, Fire Stick. Um, and also, we're going to be in a city near you as well. Um, any final thoughts, uh, Latrice, from being on the show? I'm just honored. I'm just really honored to be on your show, on the Sherrard Show today. You are very wonderful. And this has just been wonderful having this talk with you. I'm honored. And um, ask me back anytime. I had a good time. We I really are going did. to certainly ask you back. Um, we really appreciate that as well. And also, next time we see Mrs. Uh, Latrice Lawrence, she's going to be in the studio side by side with me on the Sherrard Show with a very, very special guest. And I also want to thank you all um, back home for making it possible for the Sherrard Show, as well as my team and my uh, cameraman, my really good friend, uh, Mark Walker. We are a little down because the Cubs aren't playing right now, you know, due to this virus, but we'll get over it. But in the meantime, stay tuned for our next episode next week where we're going to have the iconic Rick Ross on the show. So excited to have him. In the meantime, you stay safe, be blessed. See you next week.